Today, we are diving into the flexible structural support and its impact on rotor dynamics. Accurately predicting the lateral critical speed of the machine is absolutely crucial. Neglecting the support flexibility can lead to significant error in your first critical speed prediction. So, we must develop an accurate and convenient method to incorporate support flexibility into your rotor dynamic analysis. In certain cases with flexible support, critical speeds can be split, as shown in the speed versus vibration amplitude plot from the measured data. So, identifying flexible support characteristics is key to accurately capturing the critical speeds. To determine the stiffness and damping properties of actual structural support, we need to perform an impact test. During the test, force signal from the tip from the hammer and acceleration signal from the accelerometers are transferred to the data acquisition. The resulting frequency spectrum can be plotted on a computer, helping us analyze the support structure properties. With the collected test data, we can then input the stiffness and damping information into our rotor dynamic model. Now, let's compare two scenarios accounting for flexible support in the model versus not accounting for it. When the rotor dynamic model accounts for flexible support, it predicts split critical speeds, while the one without only show a single peak. As we look at the actual test data, we can see the split critical speeds, emphasizing the importance of accurate modeling. So understanding the flexible structure helps prevent foreseeable failures in the machine due to excessive vibrations. The structure analysis is often performed using FEA software but it must be tied to actual test data to represent the reality accurately. That's all for today. If you find this video helpful, consider subscribing my channel. Thank you, and I'll see you in my next video.